Uh, there are two different kind of anesthetics which can be used to uh, provide anesthesia for joint replacements. Uh, I am practicing anesthesia over 20 years and there have been a lot of changes during this period of time. Originally, we used to uh, do a general anesthetic for most of our patients, which means uh, you receive an intravenous injection, uh, fall asleep, then we place a breathing tube, give uh, some paralytic medications so relax your muscles, and then put you on a ventilator. Uh, over the last 10 years or so, I would say, uh, this uh, approach changed quite a bit. Uh, scientific evidence shows that uh, providing a different kind of anesthetic, spinal anesthesia, also known as regional anesthesia, is beneficial for patients. With this type of approach, uh, you will receive very similar anesthetic what women receive for childbirth. Uh, the anesthesiologist will numb your back with a, a very tiny needle. And uh, after that, the anesthetic is uh, uh, placed in your back, which provides complete numbness of the lower body. Uh, during the surgery, however, you still go to sleep. However, this sleep is much more similar to a normal nap. You receive medications through an IV, you fall asleep, but uh, you're not paralyzed. You receive uh, no muscle relaxants. And uh, most importantly, you don't have a breathing tube placed.